As we continue off with the conversations this morning, the Ministry of Gender Equality, Poverty Eradication and Social Welfare will be hosting a men's conference and it's expected to take place this coming weekend. Now the gathering will look into gender-based violence solutions. Intern social worker within the Ministry of Gender Equality, Poverty Eradication and Social Welfare, Alicia Simasiku now joins us in studio with more details on this. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Thank you for having me today. All right. Yes. Perhaps a good place to start would be to understand the root cause of gender-based violence. Where do you think it all starts? Okay. I think it is difficult to say that gender-based violence has a root cause, mm -hmm. but what we can say is it has contributing factors that lead to gender-based violence. And some of the contributing factors could be the societal norms and cultural beliefs that people portray in society and also um, economic um, imbalances or dependency that women have on men. All right. Yeah. What do you think are some of the key words that one should ponder on when trying to understand the violence against women and children, especially here in Namibia? Okay, I think the main, I have two main keywords okay. that I would say one should ponder on, which are um, imbalances, like the male dominance, and then power dynamics. Yeah. All right. In Would you society. say imbalances perhaps goes with gender inequality? Yeah, it goes with gender inequality. All right. Yes. How far are we when it comes to perhaps just getting rid of this whole gender-based violence issue? I think um, society, I think we are really trying, mm -hmm. but I feel like there's still a gap. And with more campaigns happening, I think we will reach the goal we want to reach. Right. Yes. Now, can you just talk to us about the whole initiative of the men's conference? Okay. So the men's conference is um, set to happen on the 6th of September, which is this Friday, at the Koma Style Constituency Office. And it is one of my community projects. So I am like, I'm a final year social work student at the University of Namibia. Mm -hmm. And in completion of my degree, I'm requested to conduct community projects in the community. Yeah. So I was placed in Ochomuise Achtelan, mm -hmm. where I came up with this initiative to come up with a men's conference. And the purpose of the men's conference is basically to just um, create a forum for discussion for men where we will educate them on gender-based violence. And then we also want to change behaviors and just have an open discussion where men are open to discuss about problems they face and the impact gender-based violence has on society. All right. Yes. Of all the topics, why gender-based violence? Of all the topics, I am placed at the Gender-Based Violence Protection Unit. Okay. So I had to come up with a project based on the unit or the organization you're placed at. So I was placed at Gender-Based Violence Protection Unit at Katatura State Hospital. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm focusing on gender-based violence specifically. All right. All right. Now, earlier on, you mentioned some of the few issues that perhaps cause gender-based violence. You mentioned a culture. You also mentioned perhaps uh, the roles, the inequality. <coughs> you know, the imbalance, you, you spoke about a few keywords, but what, apart from some of these main challenges, what do you think are some of the solutions that the conference would, you know, like to focus on? Um, the solutions are, the main focus is education, mm -hmm. where we want to raise awareness by educating the men on 
gender-based violence. And we also want to educate them on providing support for victims and perpetrators who go through this because change does not happen overnight. It yeah. takes time. So yeah, we want them, we want to educate them on acceptance as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Now, we can't take away from the fact that men also become victim, you know, sometimes as much as it's a men's conference. conference. Um, where do the women fit in this? Um, the women mm -hmm. fit in this. I don't, okay, the women do fit in this mm -hmm. because what we are trying to do in society, like I said, there is in, there's, um, inequality and um, what we are trying to do is just raise awareness on men and make them aware that um, cultural beliefs and norms and as well as the, the, the difference or the picture society painted in the, in, the, in the community is not what it looks like. Mm -hmm. We will make them aware of what the roles women also have in society and what the role men also have in society. All right. Yes. Talk to us about some of your expected outcomes from the conference. The outcomes I am expecting are behavioral changes mm -hmm. in men and also a deeper understanding on gender-based violence. All right. Yes. Who are you expecting to attend the conference, of course, apart from men? What is your age, uh, what is your target age group? Okay, our target age group is from 15 and up. Mm -hmm. Yes, and all men are uh, welcome. But then we have a specific number of participants that, okay. yeah, that are going to be there. Because of the venue, mm -hmm. we had a bit of complications with finding a venue, so the venue cannot accommodate a lot of people, mm -hmm. and it, it's only going to accommodate 30 participants. Mm -hmm. And then we have three speakers. We have Mr. Nelson Shipandeni from Comasal Constituency. We have Mr. Lucas Lazarus, and we also have Mr. Jafet Amukwa, who is a surgeon at the Gender-Based Violence Protection Unit. All right. Yes. So how does one go about attending this conference? Are the spaces finished already, or is it on a first-come, first-serve basis? Um, we, um, we have a poster that we've been distributing, mm -hmm. and there are instructions on the poster that require people to actually register. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so far we still have some spaces left for registering. All right. Yes. Now, looking beyond this whole event, what are some of the initiatives that you perhaps would like to bring about in the future just to also continue the conversations on gender-based violence? I think um, this is a way of paving like uh, more campaigns and um, what I want to portray out there is just to show people that um, focusing on like conferences like this or projects like this could really bring a change and it should be made um, a norm in society where we focus like on gender-based violence and like other issues as well. Hence, um, this is not my only project. We have three other projects coming up. Mm -hmm. We have a first-hand response, gender-based violence first-hand response training for zone leaders. And then the second project we have is a fun fair where we want to have a fun day, like a market day, in the Achtelan community where we want to raise um, awareness as well and also raise funds for the Gender-Based Violence Protection Unit. Right. Yeah, and then the last project, which is now for everyone, because when people read about the men conference, they're <laughs> like, yeah, why are you only focusing on men? Yeah. And yeah. So the last one is the Gender-Based Violence March, which is happening on the 19th of October, and that one is welcome to anyone and everyone both women and men. All right. Yes. Can you just walk us through the logistics again of the entire event? For the... Men's conference. Men's yes. conference, okay. Mm -hmm. So for that one, it's on the 6th of September, mm -hmm. this Friday. Um, it's at the Comma Style Constituency Office. Um, the, um, there is... What time will it be starting? Oh, it's starting at 9 mm -hmm. to 12.30. Right. Yes, and then there's a limited number of partic participants, mm -hmm. like I said. And yeah, we have three speakers, which are also male speakers. There will be refreshments and yeah, a lot to learn. All right. Yes. What is your message to our viewers this morning regarding gender-based violence? 
My message towards viewers this morning is just um, to really just play your role mm -hmm. and let us stand together and fight against gender-based violence because no one deserves to be violated in society. All right. Yes. Alicia, thank you so much for joining us this morning and we wish you all the best with the conference. Thank you so much, ma'am. All, right. all right. That was Alicia Simasiku, who is an intern social worker in the Ministry of Gender Equality, Poverty Eradication and Social Welfare, joining us this morning, talking to us about a men's conference that will be taking place this Friday, that is the 6th. It will be starting from 9 until 12.30, limited number of men, and they will be touching on some of the solutions of gender-based violence. Well, she definitely mentioned that it doesn't end there. More conversations need to be had. Well, good morning. Namibia continues shortly after this.